Um, strong and healthy pigs, that's what we want. Good evening, everybody. Yeah. My name is uh, Ariane de Bie. I st studied at the Agriculture University Wageningen in the Netherlands. I studied zootechnics. It's a whole different story than what you heard today, uh, the last uh, two, three hours. Um, zootechnics is the science of uh, livestock keeping. It's uh, about the breeding and the upgrading of the animals. In 2001, I came to Suriname and I was looking around. Oh, it's a party. <laughs> Uh, I was looking around at the farms and I saw that there was little respect for animals. There was little respect for the environment, little respect for the workers, for each other. And um, in 2003, from 2003, I started at Suriname Pig Farms uh, till now. That was uh, one of the larger farms in Suriname pig farms, not the biggest. Um, we didn't know, or the people who worked there didn't know exactly what to do. Uh, uh, they, know, uh, they knew that the pigs must be fed and um, they needed water. And well, that was no, not, not only that, but um, there was nothing about safe farming. Um, in 2000, uh, seven, I came manage, became managing director of the farm, and well, I wanted to tell you the biggest challenge of everything um, from 2003 till 2007 were the workers, the attitude of the workers, the most motivation of the workers, and um, to keep them or or to lead them in the same direction I wanted to go. I had a vision. I wanted to produce safe pigs, safe pork meat for Suriname, and a lot of it. We wanted to be the biggest farm. And um, why I, I chose pigs? Because pigs are, well, they're intelligent. And then you say, oh, do you have to eat them then? But I really love pork meat also. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, um, furthermore, it's a very high source of protein in food for, for people. And well, also pigs, uh, you know, uh, that they also um, use it in um, heart uh, transplants. And they, well, it's an issue still, but um, pigs can, can help in, in, the, in the human uh, medicine too. In 2009, I had all the people there and we wanted, uh, all the people are, were motivated and they wanted also the, the biggest farm, the healthiest farm, the best pigs. So I wrote an innovative project uh, with better genetics, better management and 2009 the innovative project started and three years later we um, went from 17, the production of 17 piglets per sow per year to almost 26 piglets per, piglets per sow per year. That means that we had an increase in production in 50, of 50% 50 in only three years' time. And it was just one farm, our farm. Um, in 2011, we, we also wanted a standard because uh, we had a lot of pigs, but, not, but now we wanted also the safe pigs. So we started uh, looking at different standards and we chose the global gap standard the global good agricultural practice. I'm going to tell you a little later about that. In 2012, it's only one year later, we got the certificate, the Global Gap certificate. Global Gap is one of the highest standards in the world. And uh, we are, well, I'm very proud to say that we are the only agricultural farm in Suriname, well, the, the livestock farm in Suriname who has that certificate. Um, in 2013, Work, we worked together with the uh, Suriname Standard Bureau uh, to produce the standard for the pig production for Suriname. And it's the first time ever that there is a standard for pig production. So we did that also. And 2014, it's not over there, we won a PSI project that is a private sector investment uh, program with the Dutch government to um, start a larger farm with all the innovative uh, aspects I'm going to tell you about 
data. In Suriname, there are um, 27,000 uh, pigless slaughters slaughtered a year, um, and we have uh, one third of the the that part. Um, it's almost uh, 1.9 million kilos. Okay. The global gap, what I wanted to talk about, that's a very important standard, and we, were, we are very proud of that, the good agriculture practice. The internationally recognized standard for farm production, and the goal of that standard is safe and sustainable agricultural production. We didn't have that here in Suriname, but now we do. And um, the standard covers food safety and traceability. Traceability is necessary. Uh, all the pigs have an air tag, uh, we trace them exactly what happens with the pigs, if they got medicine, what kind of food, uh, what, if ha something happened, if they fought or, or something's wrong with legs. or Everything is registered by the air tag and the computer system, so everything is traceable and that's good for the food safety. The environment is also in the, sta uh, the standard covers also the environment, the workers' health, safety and welfare, that's very important too, because a lot of workers think, oh, we work at an animal farm, a pig farm, why do you take care of me? Well, we do, in the Global Gap Standard. Um, and animal welfare, that's very important. You need um, certain kind of uh, um, s uh, floors, you need uh, unlimited water, um, certain kind of food. We don't have food with animal how is it, parts in it, it's only only vegetables, so we have uh, vegetarian uh, pigs, to say <laughs> it like that. And, and the standard includes integrated pest control. And well, at our farm now, there is no use of pesticides. Yes, thank you. Um, the quality uh, management's also in there, and hazard analysis and critical control points. So this standard covers a lot of other standards. Um, the standard demands greater efficiency in production. It improves business performance. That's good for us because we get better and better. Um, it reduces waste of vital resources. And re it requires a general approach to farming that builds in practices for generations to come. So what we do now, we can do forever and ever. And um, we got more and more picks for Suriname, well, for the people who, who like pork meat, people who don't dwell. <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, it's a good source of protein. Um, the global gap, uh, it's also integrated farm assurance, and the standard itself consists of general rules and control points and compliance crit criteria. Uh, furthermore, the, it's modeler-based. You have an all-farm-based module that's for all the farms, so uh, not only a pig farm can uh, produce according to the standard of global gap, it's for all the agriculture farms. Um, the scope module, you have crops, agriculture and livestock. We uh, choose the livestock model because livestock is um, divided in the subscope module, uh, poultry, ruminants and pigs. And our uh, scope is the, the pig section. Well, I'm going to talk about our farm now. It is um, now the largest in Suriname. I'm very proud to say that because it wasn't before. And um, we, our vision, well, it became true. We are the largest. We produce a little more than one third of the Surinamese pork meat. And um, we have a breeding farm at, uh, in Saramaka. Uh, Suriname pig farms, okay, it's called uh, Suriname pig farms. Everything is green, this is a relative old farm, this is the breeding farm. We um, import our grandparents' sows and grandparents' parent boars, so our grandparents' stock, from the south of France. They come to Suriname with a KLM, a plane, 25 kilos and um, we have to keep them in quarantine before they can go into the farm. And we buy from no one else, only from the second, well, they're one of the largest, but they are the second uh, best uh, pig genetic company in the world. It's Topix. A lot of uh, farms in Suriname already 
uh, buy from Topix, but we have a separate farm, so everything is closed. If you go into the farm, you have to take a shower, uh, put other clothes on. If you've been to other, uh, another farm, you cannot come into the farm, things like that. So it's a high, very high biosecurity. <laughs> okay, this is, <laughs> this is a very important picture for us. This is one of our boars. And this is the site we really want to see. Yeah, you think, oh, why not the front? Um, we, only, we only made uh, by artificial insemination. So the semen have to be collected from the boar. And there you see the sow. You don't see that it's a sow, but it is. It's an artificial sow. And we can fool the boar to jump on that sow. So we can collect the semen. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's mean. Some, some of the guys here say that's very mean. If I tell you another interesting fact, it's not very mean because the boar, the, 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 the pigs, have the longest orgasm from the. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they have an orgasm of 30 minutes. 30. <laughs> well, if, if we can fool them to jump on the, on the artificial sow, well, they're happy. So, it's okay. <laughs> well, we collect about 50 till uh, to 400 millilit uh, milliliters of semen. Yes, and that is for the processing. And why we do that? If you put a boar on a sow, then you have just one mating. But um, if you do this, if you collect it, if you process it, you can uh, inseminate like 15 sows two times or, or 20 sows two times. And it's safer because no transmission of diseases. So this is good. Here you see the laboratory, um, they process, we have our own laboratory and they pro process the, the semen and uh, then it goes to our production farm. That's another side because the, the, the breeding must be closed, very closed. This is a little more open. Um, here you see the stables, it's very nice, it looks like a vacation site, <laughs> but it's not. Uh, yeah, it's not a resort. It is a pig farm, but it's very clean. And a lot of the people, what, what I told you about, the workers, um, we had to change their attitude against animals, against people, against environment. And um, you see that it's very clean and, and they are happy that, that they were taught that to keep everything so clean. They say the, the, the farm is cleaner than our house was before. Okay, but now um, our house is like this also, so that's good. <laughs> Here you see the artificial insemination. Um, well, it's done um, according to all the standards. And this is also, this is the group housing. When the sows are um, pregnant, they are, I call it pregnant, but, but it has another name, but then it gets too technical. Um, they are pregnant three months, three weeks, three days, 150 days. So it's very easy to um, remember. And well, we have a whole program and there you see the, the air tags and then you know when to um, put them in another stable. Here is the, the fairing, the, the bird. Um, we have almost 11 piglets per sow. And um, we have uh, 2.3 farrowings a year. So then you get um, about 25, 26 piglets. Um, it's a very high production for Suriname because all the other farms have like 17, 20. And we are um, the range of uh, Holland. So it's good. The global gap standard, um, I wanted to say that also, it is on the same level as the IKB, IKB standard of Holland. Uh, that is the standard. Uh, all the pig farms have to produce according to that standard. And the global gap is on the same level as that standard. So that's also good because we are allowed to export. But we cannot because we don't have enough. But that's our next vision. 
here are the, the wind piglets. And, um, well, everything is all, uh, so it's so nice. And then I have to say that in four and a half, five months, you can eat them. <laughs> but, <laughs> yes. But they had a very nice life. And, and they... <laughs> <laughs> they, they had a nice life. They also have, have toys. We put toys in there. You see coconuts. Uh, we have uh, chains. They never get bored because if they get bored, they, they uh, chew on, their, in, on each other's tails. And we don't want that because then you get infection and, and they are not happy. We are not happy. We all want to be happy. So <laughs> a lot of toys. And here you see uh, one of the oldest workers, he's very young, but he was working there since he was 10. He was not working, but he was running around um, in the stables. I wasn't there, I wasn't working there yet, but the owners know them, or know him from, well, from since he was 10. Yeah, almost bird. Uh, he was, yeah, born in the stables, that's what they say. And he has so much passion for the pigs. And um, he really loves, well, you see it, uh, that's why I took this picture. Um, he loves the pigs and, and the passion he has. And he brings it all also uh, over to the, the rest of the workers. So my vision and their passion, it, it, it goes to what we want to, to be in the Suriname pig farms. Here you see, one, uh, well, six of the workers. We have 25 uh, and we have like eight women. It's more, a little more than 30%. <laughs> I don't know if that's good, but we, we don't want too much uh, women. Women are, are very good in, in the stables with the piglets, but, well, some countries, they don't want the women um, in the boar stables. They say, no, no women in boar stables, that's not good. But, well, we have eight women now, and it goes very well. So I want to say that we're a good team, good team building and um, get everybody um, seeing or, or looking at the same side, the same way and sharing our vision. Um, well, I think we will export to the CARICOM and we will export to Europe. And I don't think it, it will take that long because now in the PSI project, we are going to train all the farmers to get there where we are to have the same standard we have. And, um, well, I think we will do that. And the time is now. We have to start. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>